Hello everyone, welcome back to the USG Ishimura and Let's Play Dead Space. Last time, we made an unnecessarily long video to try and get through the last of the tutorials in Chapter 2, and we made it into the morgue. So this video is going to be a little bit on the shorter side, just because we're really not doing a lot other than finishing off the morgue, but there is a bit to get through. Here we have some leapers, not leapers, lurkers. Where are you? Top one, so whoop. Yeah, as you can see, they really like to throw stuff on. There we go, there's one. No look, no jumping. Don't want them to jump on me this time. I did that last time, but I'm running a bit low on healing items. And I need them to deal with the first enhanced Necromorph. We are, here we have some line gun racks. Now, if you couldn't already tell, Captain Matthias is not going to stay dead for us, but it's also going to introduce us to yet another new enemy. That's going to be the Infector. And the biggest problem with the fight is if you don't have a lot of stasis and you cannot stop both of them right out of the gates, that Infector's got another body in there that he can turn into yet another Enhanced Necromorph. And that could be a bit of a problem. So, you want to come in with about... I want to say at least three clips worth of ammo. Normally the game will have given you plenty by this point. Alright, we don't want to move too far forward because he's baiting a trap. If we go too far forward, there's going to be some spawning behind us. We want to let him come out. A little bit. There we go. There's a point right on their back where you can actually hit the tentacles when they're not exposed, but I don't remember exactly where that is. Alright, so line rack. Now we're going to have an instant where they're going to be coming from front and behind, so we're going to move up. Stasis. Sweep the leg. Back, reload, and now we can finish off this guy. Oh, looks like we got them both with that last shot. Didn't need the extra one. Yeah. But if this game can teach you anything, it's don't be stingy. Because these things can kill you incredibly quickly. Even if, even if you're on a new game plus run, you have everything maxed out, they can kill you very, very fast. Hello. Can anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. Just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Oh. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait. I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. <laughs> I do believe he's supposed to spawn in that position on the bed, not just floating, but we fixed this little problem. Of course, we see loot over here, and the game is going to use this as an opportunity to mess with us. Just got some babies here. I don't recall if these are dev babies or if it's just flavor text. We're going to see if I can actually get this done this time. Because... These enemies are linked to where you walk. They're not actually linked to picking up the item. So if you kinesis those items over, you're going to ignore the enemies that would normally spawn from this vent and come chase you down. <laughs> what are you doing? You... Are you reaching... Reaching to... Oh, no, that's a saw. You were just reaching inside of him for the fun of it. That was a saw. Oh, no.
the flop sound effects in this game are absolutely brilliant. I don't know if they did what they did uh, with Epic Studios for Gears of War and just threw meat against the wall, but they did a hell of a good job. Previous conversation. <laughs> Again, I'm just going to scroll through these and let you pause them if you want. Don't want to take too much time away from the video. And we will be coming back for this room. And not too far from now either. Science log, Chief Science Officer. Loud Dr. and rude. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. I wouldn't say that the murders are indicative of uh, paranoia. But moving on from this, the dementia caused by the marker and the marker due psychosis actually tends to lean more towards schizophrenia. As people just dictate two different personalities. Here we go. That's set to three. Okay. And there we have our infector. Plenty of stasis. And we're going to wait for him to break through the glass, and we're going to stasis them, and you're going to watch the easiest way to deal with this. If it wants to stasis them. There's one. Oh no. Oh, we made a mistake. Oh, they took me out quick. And now Isaac becomes a necromorph. Or it just kills us. Or it's just going to kill us. Okay. I was honestly expecting the mine to be able to one-shot those guys. Apparently it didn't want to today. It's fine. Come into this telling you I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. And the game decides, no, no, we're not going to let you. You don't get to have fun today. We're going to ruin your YouTube video. Yeah. Uh. Mean. Take two. All right. There we go. Thank God. Nope. I've got access to the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. Okay, what's the flip? To find out what the hell happened to this ship. Just a morgue log. Nothing important. Autopsy retort. Uh, re retort? Report on Captain Matthias. Long and the short of it, he got stabbed in the eye with a syringe. Gonna go in here and just pick up whatever loot we have. Um, so yeah, that's our first enhanced necromorph, and as you can see, they hurt. They hurt really bad. They've got a lot of health, and remember, we've upgraded the damage on our plasma cutter.
And while it's not technically the heaviest damaging weapon in the game, it hits the hardest the most reliably. I'm gonna want a stasis. So we've got another one to deal with. Another one or two. Probably would just... No, I think it's two. This one's a little bit e easier. As you can see, five shots to take off the leg rather than three. Even the arms take a lot more than normal. Those guys can very easily chew through an entire clip. But we're gonna get a lot more ways to deal with Necromorphs coming up, so they're not gonna be too Somehow terrible. One of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damage escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Well, yeah, that doesn't sound too kosher. Emma, I don't know if I missed that later or if that just spawned. Sometimes they will be generous and ammo can just spawn in areas you've already been to. Pre-designated spots, obviously, but it happens. Unless I'm just silly and I didn't realize it the first time through. Back to the store! Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, wrong button again. Plenty of ammo, plenty of weaponry. With 11,000 credits. I think it's time to go buy another power node. And with this, we're going to be able to upgrade our health at some point soon. Go in here. I think... No, I did not. Knew I was forgetting something. But guys, at that... That is the end of Chapter 2. Again, sorry for the short video. But I try to get as much of the tutorials out of the way in the first three episodes as I possibly could. And unfortunately, one of them ran a little bit long because of it. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch, guys. Link will be in the description below. I hope you all have a fabulous day. See you all later.